Hello and welcome to the beginner's guide for OpenAI's new agent builder. In today's guide, I'm going to show you how to build your first agent and how to create widgets for that agent so that it can create custom visual elements when you're chatting with it. Before, you would just get a text response from an agent, but now we can create widgets like this table here. Before we dive in, I'm curious to hear your thoughts, so go ahead and comment below and let me know what you think of this new agent builder tool if you've tried it out and like this video for the YouTube algorithm to help this get out to more people. To access Agent Builder, you're gonna head over to platform.openai.com and just hit enter. And this is going to open up the backend developer section of OpenAI. Now, once you're here, you're going to log into your account using this button in the upper right-hand corner. And once you're logged in, you'll see your profile picture up here. Now, once you're logged in, you're gonna head down to Build Agents and then click on Agent Builder. And then from here, you can hit open agent builder. Now out of the box, they have these different templates that you can use right here, but I'm just going to create a new agent. So I'll hit create and to kick things off, it looks very similar to N8N and Zapier. And a lot of people think that this is going to be an N8N killer or it's going to be a Zapier killer that is yet to be seen. We're going to have to see how this develops, but I have a feeling it's going to integrate with these tools rather than absolutely destroy them. From my understanding, Agent Builder is much more agent centric. It's not for building workflows and automations as much. It's more for the tooling that you need to create AI agents. Let me show you what I mean. So we have this start node right here and this just takes in an input. So this is maybe some text if we're just typing into a search bar. And then from there we get my agent. Now this agent right here is very similar to something like N8N. You can add different instructions here. I can have my system prompt and I can have my user message and they make it super easy to add a user message. So if I want to pass in the user message, I can just add in a variable like so, input as text. And as you can see, it's very similar to what you might be used to in something like N8N. You can just pass in the variable from this start node here. And for the system prompt, let's just tell it you are a helpful assistant. And then here I can make sure that chat history is selected so that it remembers our conversation as we go. And I can also set the model I can set the reasoning level. I can give it tools like web search. Let's go ahead and do that right now. And you can even specify how it uses web search and what websites it's allowed to use. But for now, I'm just going to leave it wide open and hit add. And we'll alter this system prompt slightly. Search the internet for updated information. And I'll name this agent assistant. And now once we want to test this agent out, we can just hit the preview button up here. And what that's going to do is just going to open up this chat window and I can say, give me the NFL scores from yesterday's games. Let's see if it can give me some football scores. As you can see, it's already onto the agent and we can watch as it reasons through the problem, searches the web, and then ultimately gives me the scores of yesterday's games. But where this gets super powerful is with their new widget designer. Now widgets are super powerful. They allow us to create visual experiences within our chat for our users to interact with. For example, instead of just listing this as text in our response, we can actually have it respond with a nice UI element. So let's say I wanted a custom table of all of the NFL scores coming in rather than just having it output it as plain text. I could just go into my assistant, I could click on the output format and I could change it to widget. From there, I can click plus on widget. Then I can either upload a widget that I already have or I can create a new one. I'll just hit create and boom, we're in the widget builder now. So I can just describe the element that I want it to create. Create a table widget that has team names as one column, final score as the other column and status as another column. Status can be either live, past or future. Team names are just the two teams that are playing and the score column should include some numbers for the actual scores. And it's just a basic prompt. Now I can go ahead and send this off and it's going to get to work creating that widget. Now, while that's loading our widget, I wanted to tell you about our community because this AI stuff, it moves fast. And what our community does is we keep you guys up to date with this stuff. So we'll have a course coming on OpenAI's agent builder and how to use these widgets and how to launch these agents live and deploy them. These new features are hot off the press. So what we're doing right now is we're just helping our community live as they interact with this new tool. 
but soon we'll be adding a curriculum. You'll be able to learn this stuff end to end with live support from our community. And you can join us on calls and share your workflows, discuss them, and think of different ideas for how you can make money with these agents, deploy them in your business, or just use them for personal use cases. We already have a ton of AI training over there and it's not slowing down anytime soon. If you're interested in joining our community, you can use the link in the description below. Now let's get back to the widget builder. All right, and just like that, we have generated this. And as you can see here, it's giving us the Tigers versus Hawks, two to one, live, Wolves versus Bears, zero to zero, future, and Sharks versus Falcons, three to four, past. Now, I could also show more. That's kind of nice how it has that toggle there. And we can just go ahead and pass this over now to our agent. Right now, things look a little bit squished, but I'm just showing you this as an example. So we'll go ahead and download this. And I'll go back to where I'm adding my widget and hit upload. Then I'll find the dot widget file that it just downloaded for me and hit open. And boom, now I can see this widget live right here and I can even show more. Now let's go ahead and close this. And as you can see, it's already added the game scores table as our output format. I'm just going to alter the instructions so that this agent understands what its job is. So I'm just going to say, your role is to return a table of scores, game status, and the teams that played for a specified range of time that the user gives you. Use your web search tool in order to find this information and then fill out the widget and return it to the user. Now I'll just go to preview and I'm going to tell it, give me the scores from Sunday, October 5th for all of the NFL games that happened on that day and we'll send that off. Now let's see if the assistant can pull this off. So it's reasoning through, confirming the NFL game data, and it returned it, but it returned it with confirmation needed. Not bad for our first try, at least it returned it for us. So now let's just tell it the year. I'm referring to October 5th of 2025. Just use the web search tool to find these games and fill out the widget. Now you can adjust your system prompt and you can make the agent smarter so that it doesn't have to get this kind of dialogue with it for it to understand. But overall, this should work just fine. Okay, and boom, it returned the widget just as we had asked before. So it gives us the final scores. It tells us what the score was for each team and it has the show more here. And as you can see, it's exactly as we designed it. I'm genuinely curious to hear what you guys want to see more of when it comes to the agent builder. So let me know in the comments below what you want me to make the next video on. And if you really wanna keep up with this stuff, I recommend joining our community, AI Foundations. The link will be in the description below. We'll see you in the next one.